Hi guys and welcome back to uh, the channel and I'm actually in the Astro Shed today so uh, I want to talk about something that uh, crops up quite a lot and that's 3D balancing for a, a, a centre equatorial mount this is the SEM70, the Iotram SEM70 now a lot of people talk about 3D balancing but there is actually four dimensional balancing, four axis on the uh, centre equatorial mounts and that's what I want to talk about it's uh, it's not often covered most people talk about 3D but first of all I just want to go through what the four dimensional balance is so first of all if you've got your mount in its imaging position its home position pointing north and make sure you've got dew caps off and everything else so it's set up exactly as you would use for imaging and then if you get it in the vertical position which mine is and you release the clutch it stays exactly where it is so that's one dimensional balancing second dimension again with the tube pointing straight up you can release the deck clutch and the mount should stay exactly where it is there so that's two dimensional balancing the next three dimensional is obviously your normal horizontal balancing put it into that position it stays exactly where it's supposed to and then again on the deck you put it into the horizontal position and it stays exactly where it's supposed to so that's four dimensions altogether in balancing a lot of people overlook the fourth a lot of people just get as far as three and that's it now to get my mount balanced in four, di four dimension I've had to use a counterweight on the side here and this counterweight the Ioptron mounts come with an M8 hole screwed into the side of the saddle there's one each side so most people when they get their scope in this position and release the clutch the scope will fall one way or the other so what you need to do is to put weights on obviously the opposite side to what it falls which is what I've done here now this is just an M8 bolt and two 200 gram weights which you can buy off Amazon and I will put the links in the description screwed onto there which in my case was exactly the right amount you can also get these weights in 100 gram uh, each as well and they're, and they're really reasonably priced really cheap now they come with an M6 hole in the middle I drilled these out to M8 uh, and tapped them so that I can actually screw them onto the threaded bolt you don't need to tap them you could just put washers in there to hold them and it turns out that two of the 200 grams, 400 grams is perfect for my, uh, for my setup. So that's four dimensional balancing. Now on a lot of these mounts you see a lot of people with counterweights sticking out the side of the counterweight shaft. And that's because when it's in this position, perfectly vertical, and they release the RA clutch, the mount falls constantly in one direction. And no matter what weight you put on any on any side of the mount it will carry on to fall in one direction it's a common fault with these mounts so to compensate for this people have weights sticking out I think they're pretty ugly to be quite honest and what I found is the problem because this part and this part are separate it's not a straight line all the way through it's like a Z shape so this is completely separate if this isn't mounted completely parallel to the top portion of the mount i.e. if you can imagine that's the top the counterweight should be hanging directly below but if they're very slightly one way or the other due to this not being perfect perfectly machined it will constantly fall no matter what weight you put on it in one or the other directions hence the extra weight on the side well I found a, a tip for this which I actually put in a video about 12 months ago if you loosen these, the bolt here, and there's a bolt this side, if you loosen those, you can sh put some shim in here and then retighten them, and it'll just, if the counterweight shaft is slightly off, it will just push it very slightly in the right direction. Now, my mount used to fall in this direction all the time, no matter what I did. So what I found is I had to put a 0.5mm shim in there just to push the counterweight bar that little bit that way and it brought it vertical and that saved me having to have these ugly counterweights sticking out of the side which is why people have to do it so this is just there's just a quick video on, on 
showing you the four dimensions. I'll just go through once again. One, one dimension is there, which is your normal horizontal balancing of the RA axis. And then your normal horizontal balancing of the deck axis. Again, perfectly balanced, no problem at all. So that's two dimension. And you put the make sure the deck axis is pointing straight up loosen the RA and it should stay there it shouldn't fall one way or the other which it doesn't do tighten that one back up and then loosen the deck clutch and the deck axis shouldn't fall one way or the other either it should stay perfectly vertical that's what these counterweights are doing to compensate it's for this it's for my flip flat uh, flats panel when it's open the open position that really is counterweight to compensate for that so I hope that's uh, been interesting because I certainly didn't know about four dimensional balancing I've heard about 3D M normal a German equatorial mounts you tend to only balance in in 2D most of the time um, the 3D again was, was something I actually learnt about a long time ago with my Mead LX90 when I moved it from a fork mount onto a wedge uh, and found that I had to do 3D balancing on that but these particular mounts uh, do work better with the 4D balancing it certainly helps with this it's completely balancing in every direction and even as much as moving one of these cables can actually throw the balance off that's how perfectly balanced it is so um, yeah any comments or questions please leave them below and uh, I'll leave the links for these if you want to make a, a counterweight for the side of your saddle I'll leave the links in the description so uh, until the next one, I hope that's been useful. Clear skies to you all.